Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you guys are doing good and everybody is doing fine. I'm just here taking a look at the LFS. This one's Exotic Ocean. I showed you guys the LFS last time, but I just used my cell phone in that video. But in this update, I'm going to give you a good video, better look at the store. Uh, see if you want to stop by and see if, you know, they have tons of coral, lots of LPS, but... Uh, I brought my proper camera to give you guys a proper update and show you guys a little bit of the store and a little bit brighter color. Anyways, hope you guys have been doing good and your tanks are doing good. How many of you guys are doing water changes today? How many of you guys are actually going to the shops? Uh, I'm pretty lucky. I have uh, several good shops here in El Paso, Texas. The other shop that I really like is the Coral Reef. I go there all the time. Uh, if you see me there, say what's up, and I'll say what's up to you, um, and we'll talk some fish. But as you can see, they got a nice selection of some frags. I'm really surprised I didn't walk away with anything from here. Lots of LPS, uh, which I really didn't want to mess with too much LPS, but they do have a nice selection if that's what you're into. Uh, I typically look for Zoas. Um, I just love the Zoas. They're, that's my thing. And I'm starting to get into the Acros. Uh, I had a bunch of badass chalices. Like really nice chalices which I managed to kill. Um, I don't know what happened. I think my water was maybe getting too clean. But uh, a lot of them just kind of like died. And they kind of bleached out and I don't think it was because of the light or anything like that because I haven't messed with my light uh, Maybe my tank was just a little bit too clean from adding that algae turf scrubber, which is a beast guys But when I'm ready, I will be getting back into the chalice game. Uh, the sad thing about chalices is uh, They do cost a grip to get some nice ones and I had some pretty nice ones. I had the mummy eyed I had a uh, you know, I still have my Miami Hurricane, but that big one that I had just died. Um, I had quite a few chalices, if you guys remember, in the past videos. But, once I'm ready, I'll get back into it. I do want to show you some of the other tanks here at uh, Exotic Ocean. I think this is probably one of their nicer tanks that they do have. Uh, it's a nice, long runway, and I don't think it's for sale. Any of these frags are for sale. I think he's just growing them out. And then maybe he'll probably be cutting them up and selling them. But this is a better look at the shop. You can see the colors are pretty sweet. And uh, I definitely walked around this tank quite a few times. Most of the Zoas though, I do have. Because, you know, that's what's up. That's my thing. But uh, the Bam Bams, they're looking pretty good. But uh, right here, this chalice is doing good. Um, lots of big stuff and check out that big old colony but as you can see got a lot of things going on here anyways I want to know what you guys are up to today uh, always appreciate you guys stopping by and subscribing checking out the videos do me a favor guys help my channel grow uh, you could if you're watching this on your cell phone just share the link post it on some fish forums and uh, Post it on the fish forums. Let me know where you post it. Um, Facebook it. Facebook groups. Whatever. Uh, text it to your friends. Just help a brother out. You know I'll be pushing out these videos at least once a week. Um, unless I get sidetracked. But I've been pretty consistent. And uh, YouTube has been a lot of fun. Especially with you guys and all the feedback. Let me know what you guys think about the corals. You got any corals? Any fish? And uh, typically, guys, I gotta tell you, typically when I come to the LFS, uh, I don't waste my money on fish. Uh, I'm really happy with the fish I got. But I did come in here to look for a copper band butterfly. Like I said, I don't really need it anymore because of the uh, F, F Aptasia. Uh, that juice that I got is pretty legit. And I'm quite interested if you guys have actually used it. You can see that, hey, you know what? This dude posts videos of products that he actually uses and it actually working for you. So let me know if you bought some of that F Aptasia. It's not like I'm getting any kickback or anything like that. But 
Uh, if it helps you out in your reefing career, helps you out get rid of those little pests, then I'm all for it, guys. But I did come in here to just hang out, see what's going on, look at corals, and uh, look at some fish, different fish. Quite a few different fish that I'm interested in, but uh, I did only come in here for the copper band butterfly and to show off some of these corals in a proper uh, video, not like the last one. And you can see, switching back from the gels to this, you can see the colors are pretty legit. Like I said, uh, the colors on this tank are probably one of the better tanks that he has in here. It's a nice long runway and lots of different things going on here. I wish I could have something like this at my own house. But there's just no way that I'd be able to get away with something like this. Not only that, but I probably wouldn't want to sell anything. And uh, so it would defeat the purpose of me even having a nice long frag tank like this. But it is pretty nice. And I am pretty lucky. Especially when you consider that I'm from the 915 El Paso, Texas. And we are a desert. But we have some thriving uh, LFSs here. So shout out to all the LFSs that are doing good work. The next tank that I'm pretty interested in is another runway tank. But in this one, he's doing T5s and then he's using, uh, gonna grow out some SPS, which I'm excited about because I wanna see different SPS being available to everybody. And I wanna see what I can get maybe later on in the future. But you can see got little sticks and uh, lots of space for this stuff to grow out. Um, I don't know if this stuff is actually for sale. If this is just a grow out tank because of the size of that uh, Superman Monty right there, which is one of my favorite. Those Montes are great. Uh, I have some in my 150 and they're starting to do good. Believe it or not, in my lagoon, the Monty is coloring up really well. And that's right underneath the uh, Radeon XR15s, which are pretty legit. Lots of different Monopories in this tank and uh, some of them interest me for my own display. I am pretty interested in the live sales that happen online on the forums. Uh, let me know what you guys pick up. I've been eyeing, speaking of coral, I've been eyeing Budman's Coral. You can find him on Instagram. Uh, I was one of the first people to order from him before he blew up. And back in the day, he was called 67 Mustang because he had a 67 Mustang. And he has uh, badass corals for sale. But I've been eyeing him, uh, thinking about placing some order, getting some frags from uh, Corey and our Mr. Budman and see what I can get uh, because I want some fire in that 150 now that I'm starting to mess with, you know, my SPS. They're starting to do good, starting to color up. So I am definitely thinking about ordering from him. Uh, and I'll let you guys know what I get when I do but there's the uh, copper band butterfly I understand it's one of the harder fish to keep uh, it's really good really nice looking fish um, like I said in my videos don't be like me don't be a hardhead quarantine your fish but if you have the time and you have the space and all that but uh, you know right now this bag is floating and uh, he's gonna go in here live uh, no quarantine set up in my tank at home at all probably should but I just don't. I'm a bad, bad reefer. I'm just one of those guys that learns the hard way. I don't read directions. Uh, I don't condone this. I highly recommend that you guys don't be like me. But if you are a bad reefer, let me know in the comments. If you're a good reefer, let me know in the comments. Uh, the reason I don't is because I already have three tanks going on. I have the 150 and then I have two frag tanks. So I guess I could probably put him in my frag tank, but I think he'll be better off in my 150, guys. But hope you guys have a good one. As always, thanks for hanging out. I did finally get this copper band butterfly. He was kind of hard to get in my area for some reason. And uh, hopefully it does really good in my tank. So far, uh, I've read a lot about them and I like their personality. And I'm going to find out for myself. Uh, if they have a good personality and all that good stuff. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for swinging by. Share this video, guys, and you guys have a good one. Take care.